Hi, I'm MFGG, and welcome to my channel where I waste my wild cards on meme decks so you don't have to. And today we are checking out a very fun Demir commander that is all about, you know, stealing stuff and just, I don't know, just drafting our opponent by, at the very least, just taking cards and turning them into 2-2 blockers. So overall, I think you'll have a blast with this commander if you haven't tried them out. And I'm really excited to just jump into the deck tech and all that stuff. Uh, I do want to say thank you to everyone who's signed up for, you know, Patreon and channel member stuff. I'm working on getting a commander gameplay video done by Friday so that y'all can view it early on Saturday and maybe even Friday evening. Uh, yeah, so on that note, hope y'all have a good one and I will see you out there or at the deck tech, whatever is next. <laughs> see you in a second. <laughs> Before we jump into the gameplay, I just want to say thank you to my Patreons, the channel members, you beautiful folks at the Sapperling level, Ishtari, JS, Brendan Such, Sasser, Queen B, TDM9, Gazanova, Snafu, and Vinny Chase. Over at the Tree Folk level, thank you Team Rooney, Frosty K, I smell death on you. And last but not least, thank you at the Planeswalker level, hi I'm Rory. All of you are the ones that make this heckin' channel possible, so thank you so much for your support. Alright friends, today we're rocking Atrada Deadly Fugitive. They're 3 CMC, have Death Touch, and the cool ability that they have here is face down creatures you control have pay for Turn this creature face up. If you can't exile it, then you may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost. And then whenever an assassin you control deals combat damage to an opponent, cloak the top card of that player's library. So basically what this commander is going to do is hopefully bonk face, exile a card, and then you can flip that card and cast it for yourself. So what's really important with this commander that I wanted to add shenanigans to is making sure that they can't get blocked. So security bypass, we have uh, Tetsuko, creatures you control with power, toughness, one or less, can't be blocked, that's huge. Cradle of the Baldur's Gate, another way to make our stuff unblockable, specifically our commander. Lauren Brooch, aka Trailblazer Boots, are more often than not gonna let you attack for free because most people don't run only basic lands in their deck unless you're playing against a mono color you know deck but even then there's a lot of times they have like demolition field or creature lands or something like that we have kayato dancing shadow because the plus one ability target creature can't attack or block until your next turn so that can be really helpful and then to help us double up on our commanders et or not etb's combat triggers we have roaming throne to again double up on those things and then to kind of support this sub you know theme of just taking things from your opponents we have a bunch of cards in this deck that allow us to either deal combat damage steal stuff cast a creature that becomes a copy of something see double where you know we're making a token copy of a target creature or copying a target spell while it's on the stack i love dragger necromancer because it exiles stuff and you can cast it for yourself we have ganti all these other fun things again that are just about us stealing stuff and then we have like Thassa to help us blink some of these shenanigans to maybe double up on theft effects. But overall, this deck is a blast. It's really fun to deal with kind of the more complicated commanders because you are able to kind of take whatever broken things you want and hopefully hit them back in the face with those things that you take. So with no further ado, I'm excited to show you the gameplay for this one and I will see you out there. Great, okay. These nightmares be risen, I tell you. Do, 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 do. Um, I would like more land drops than that. Okay. Oh, this is much nicer. Okay. We can rock this. And we shall. Let's put on some donks. Oh. Keep. Island. Sus. Put tunes. Let's get some, some donks going. There we go. I'm full focus mode. Um, so I could Dark Ritual, play Ristic, whatever. This might be a waste, but I'm going to do it. Why not? Here we go. Let's get that card draw. Oop, we'll take that draw action. Ah, yeah. Get in there, buddy. A little uh, snack. 
And I'm trying to decide, do I want to siphon insight this turn? Sounds like that would be the fun thing to do, right? I'm just worried about putting in Arata and Protected. Atrata, however you say that, Atrata. Uh, just because we are playing against Mono Black. Ooh, they're letting me draw. Take that. I like that. What are you putting in, friend? Mmm. Draw that as well. Sweet. Love me a massacre worm. Let's get the ravenous in. Let's nibble on that. Nom 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 nom. It's only a temporary solution as that friend comes back. And let's venture into the lay dungeon. Scry one. We'll be scrying. Uh, I think we're okay on that aspect of things. Yeah. And then I might do... Siphon insight. I'm still scared to put in our commander unprotected. So. Okay. Are they going to pay the one? Mm -hmm. Uh, we can eat that. Mmm, decline. Let's do... Fable. Let's check out what's in their hand. Or off the top. I do like that card a lot. Um, let's pop the Fable Passage. Let's get a Swampy Source just because of Massacre Worm. Seahawk. And then we'll put in my commander. They have the Touch of Death. Oop. And let's make a treasure. Sweet. Okay. And I think we're gonna put in these boots. Interesting. They must be board wiping. Oh, that's what they're doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. They got me. I thought that was more expensive. convinced they were board wiping. Okay, well we have Auto War to help deal with their shenanigans. Let's start with combat. Bloop, bloop. And yeah. Let's have you do that. What's under here? Oh I like Bastion. So let's take that. And let's see what we can do that at instant speed actually. Okay. It's all Resolve. Okay, Let's see what else they get in. I might just massacre worm, honestly. Just because uh they got their little one ones and stuff there and that'll be fun time for us. Do I Let's see um let's do this. Return that. Take action? Okay. Sweet. There. Got rid of their indestructible thing. Uh, we'll take action there. And then we gain two and drain them some. Man, we have so many options here. Uh, let's start with this. Let's see what we get. Changeling Outcast. I'm fine with that. Let's put in Jadar. Then Mindstone. Then Changeling. And that way now we can start the drain action with uh, the Bastion of Remembrance there. And that was actually a really sweet steal from our commander too. What makes this flip again? The player has one or fewer cards, okay. They gonna pay? Pay your taxes? They paid. Proud of them. Ground Breaker. Gonna pay the one again. They did. Doubly proud. Okay, mask her worm. Num 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 num. Then let's go ahead and just put it in the boots. And then we'll attack. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Lose that bud. 
Look at this synergy that we're borrowing from our opponent. I'll put in the commander next to you, because then if they board wipe, I'm not really as concerned because they'll end up dying from the, the triggers. Actually, I could just put in Massacre Girl as well. Is that how we want to win? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, JK. Unless they scoop. GG's opponent. Oh, joy, the first sliver. Okay. I do like Bitter Triumph, but I want more mana. Okay, we have Negate, Reach the Multiverse. These are fun cards. I am still worried about the speed, though, overall, but maybe we'll be okay if we get Rogue Class in and our commander doing shenanigans. I feel like the first couple turns, Slivers usually is trying to, like, ramp, so hopefully we can try to take advantage of that where we can. Evolving Wilds. Okay. Okay. Boom. Oh, sweet. And we got security five. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Boom. I got too excited. I was on turn three already. <laughs> now, hopefully, if we put in our commander, it won't get blown up. But we shall see. Ooh, this will get us a lot of card draw, too. Getting, getting swords. Okay. Land. Let's go bonk. Oh, they're actually blocking. Didn't expect that. They have like Tamio? Nope. Taking it. Okay. Ooh, chromatic lantern. Let's put in this friend and then we'll leave counter magic up. Resolve. Suit. Love me my land drops. Woo! And card draw. Man, this card is perfect right now. What are you? Okay. Alright. Put you in. Let's put in the security bypass. And then we will go ahead and attack here. Oop. Make another blocker. Um, let's discard that. And I think that's where we'll be at, because we can leave this negate up. Okay, resolve. Lightning bolt. Yeah, and they're lightning bolting. Wait, are you kidding me? Ah, I had negate. <laughs> I really don't like arena sometimes. That's not what I wanted to happen. One, two, six. So at least we'll have massacre worm. But that's really annoying because I should have been able to uh, counter that, but maybe it was I clicked resolve all or something. We'll block here. Okay. Castle. Then we'll do Massacre Worm. Num 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 num. Then we'll block. Or attack, not block. But we'll make a blocker. Oop. Sweet. Okay. Um. Let's discard that guy. So I like making life harder on myself. Because <laughs> I could have just cast that in Massacre where I'm unblockable. But, you know, we're here for the fun. And if they attack in, they're going to get hecka blocked here with Massacre Worm. Okay. Uh, let's do Breach because I love that card. Ravenous and... Let's do Bloodline Pretender. Say Assassin. Pull up that. And then 
will go ahead and attack. Assume an opponent doesn't scoop. Okay. Attack. Bloop, 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 bloop. Spicy shenanigans. G heckin' G's. Samwise. Okay. So, graveyard stuff, if I remember right. Mm, I'll keep being selfish. Whenever another non token creature enters the battlefield, create a food token, sacrifice three, return historic card from the graveyard to the battlefield. I'll get Ornithopter in next. I just really love Chamel the Inner Sun. Biased in that regard. Mm, let's do that actually, and then I'll save the Ottawara just in case. Same ways. Block. Gotta admire the tenacity. Okay, island. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Let's do this first. Commander. No attack. And we'll just hang out. And I would love to get Gonti and having Thassa as two. Like in there is going to be super fun to just blink Gonti. I have a feeling our commander is going to get exiled here. Swords. At least we gained a life. Take action. Mm -hmm. No blocks. We want our Orinthopter still. Our little thop thop. Shbloop. We'll put this buddy in. Hopefully. Okay. What are we getting? What are we getting? Mm -hmm. I think we'll take the regal. I just want a cute bunny. Is that so much to ask for? You know? They're so cute. And actually that will work well if we can get our commander to do the thing. And Harmonicon seems good. Okay. Do, do, do. Let's do this friend. We'll attack. Because we'll have to sacrifice selfless savior to block with Samwise and then block with the Iron Apprentice. So, seeing if they want to lose all those things essentially. Be a little shields down. Okay. No blocks. Oof. See what we get again. Mm -hmm. I kind of want this planes. Just so we make sure we hit our land drop next turn. Or I guess we won't, because I forgot Gonti doesn't let you cast lands. Mm -hmm, that's good. I'm probably gonna have to blow up the rosy, but unfortunately, uh, the selfless savior is still out, so it's gonna be hard to figure out how we're gonna deal with that problem. But if we can, I guess, force the block. Or the selfless savior out. That'll be helpful. Okay. We'll pay two life for you. I think we want the inner sun. I don't know if I'm just being biased here though. I like discover. Uh, no attacks. Uh, first we'll blink you. What do we get? Ooh. Luminous is fun. Sure. Not a great hit with the inner sun, but I think we'll be okay, knock on wood. Four mirror, so double the uh, protection there. This is going to be scary.
So we'll see if they use the selfless savior. Nope. Okay. But I guess Samwise can get it back too. Oof. Might be dead next turn. Let's see what we get. Bunnicorn. Under its owner's control. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, discard. Hit Boromir. Discarding you. Ah, that shut me down. I think. I think it still happened because it technically was a cost that I had. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely need like Rivers Rebuke or Meat Hook Massacre to get around all this. Very scary. Here. And they're not going to trade because Selfless Savior can protect. Save me. Um, or maybe it will. Because I can blink it at end step. Okay. This might actually be the answer. It doesn't get around the minus stuff. Okay, so they won't lose the life. They do get the minus two. And then... That's fine. No attack. Then we blink you. Fortunately, we don't have any counter mana up. Keep sacrificing that Boromir now. We have the graveyard hate essentially.
Okay. So block 13 here. The only thing I'm worried about is if I block with the regal, because this says return it under its owner's control with the flying counter on it. So I think we take nine. Boromir for myself. And then Boromir. Okay. Then we move to end step. Right. I'll attack with you. I'm gonna blink it. Oop. In turn, I'm gonna blink you. Okay, what did I get? I'm, I'm okay with that because now we have another blocker. Goal is the block with Massacre Worm again. Um, that's not a historic spell. I don't want them to get Boromir back is the problem. Shoot, I think I have to give them back Boromir. And they're gonna get it back under their control. That's the Nambo synergy I was working about or worried about. Um, let's give it to you. But at least now everything has indestructible, so we can block whatever onslaught is happening this turn. And yeah, go ahead and attack. I will throw everything under that. <laughs> Okay. I just didn't want to lose the Luminous Brood Moth. Okay, maybe this will save us. Demonic Tutor, pitching that thing. Um, I'm gonna do that now. Hope that they don't find a solution. Let's get River's Rebuke. Uh, no attack. Then we'll blink. We'll just blink you. It's all okay. Oh, spells can't be countered. That's fun. Uh, let's hit that. That was an interesting. Chamil, the inner sun, doing work with stuff. This is counter it. That's funny. On draft is good. Making all the tokens. Resolve. Resolve. Let's 
So I think if we can survive this turn, the River's Rebuke will save us. So if they attack in, I'll block with Massacre Worm, I'll block with the Draugr Necromancer and Cradle of Baldur's Gate. They'll all get flying. And then the nice part is this River's Rebuke. Uh, we'll also have like memory lapse and negate up as well. So this should knock on wood help us close out the game. Whew, it's intense though. Okay, pass. My turn. Okay, we did it. Whew. Bouncy back. Sweet. Now we'll go to combat. You can't. Good game. Woo! Exaxes. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, that was intense. GG's. Alright friends, I hope you had fun watching. There were a lot of spicy games that I played with this commander. So I hope you had fun seeing the stuff that went down today. As far as cards that were MVP for my build, I think security bypass was huge for just, you know, helping make sure that we had ways to make our commander's attack power bigger and also just our commander in general with that connive ability, but also just making them unblockable is huge because it's guaranteeing we're getting those shenanigans in with our commander's ability. The other two runner-ups, I think Ghostly Pilfer has been really cool just because like things with Discover or Cascade effects, there's a lot more of those in the queue now where I'm at a bare minimum getting a card draw from Commander Cast, but also again with the Discover Cascade type of effects, we are getting additional card draw from those things. And then we have Massacre Worm, that was just so good for helping us win the game with that drain damage, taking out squishy blockers so we could just hit face and hopefully close out the game. But yeah, overall, this deck was really fun. I love Demir. It's just, I don't know, something about the color combo is just so enjoyable, especially in Historic Brawl. So hope you had fun watching. Let me know in the comments if you tried this commander, what are some of the cards that you like for the commander, because it's always fun to see how people build this differently. Anyways, hope you have a good one and bye.